everybody, Low Jockey here with another episode of the Hirschbach uh, Boot Camp. I got good response from the last video, so that does encourage me to keep making these videos. Now, in the last episode, we talked about some things as far as fixed and variable costs. So, hopefully, you got that. If not, go back, watch the video again. You can get something from that. Okay, so after you've signed your contract, you're going to get your truck. So this one is going to be more on loads, but before you get the load, you got to get the truck. And again, these videos are intended for people who are either thinking about coming to Hirschbach, they got orientation coming up, or the people who just didn't really read their paperwork in the beginning and they're thinking about leaving Hirschbach. So if, you, if these videos are beneath you, I understand. Just give me a like and I'll see you on the next one. Maybe I have something for you. But on this particular series, this episode, we're going to talk about choosing your load. So I stress to you, before you choose your truck, look it over real good with a fine tooth comb. You might be in this truck for, I mean, uh, my truck, it was older, so I was only in it for four months. But you could be in this truck for a year and a half, whatever your contract is. I don't know what year you're going to get. Hopefully you all get brand new 2020s then this won't be an issue. But make sure you go over the truck. If you see any dents, if you got any pet hair, if you got any issues, whatever doesn't work, get it fixed right away. All right, so you have chosen your truck. Now it's time to choose a load. I'm sure in orientation they teach you that. But if you are just starting orientation, the first week, Hirschbach is not gonna charge you for a truck payment. So. To the people that started orientation on Monday and you got your trucks on Wednesday and you're going to either get a load on Wednesday evening or Thursday morning, you have an opportunity to make a little money without having the truck payment. Now, the insurance and stuff like that is going to come out, but no truck payment. So you get like a free week, almost a free week. You get the opportunity to run, okay, and run and gun. So I would advise to you to bring... Uh, you know, they get you a rental car. So bring bring, bring a simple comforter or a sleeping bag, a few days of clothes, whatever, or many days of clothes. I brought clothes and stuff to keep me out there. They'll take care of your stuff until you get ready to put it in your truck. If you get a load trying to go by the house, you're just wasting the opportunity that you have without having a truck payment in the beginning. You see what I'm saying? So go make some money. Go, go out a couple of weeks and then come back. All right. So... I want to say this when choosing your load in the beginning it's like a probationary period for both of you guys the the, uh, the driver manager and the driver they don't know you you don't know them so out the gate they might not run you like you want to be ran they're gonna test you they're gonna give you a load you got to make it on time so for maybe the first two to three maybe even a month two three four weeks just do whatever they have scheduled for you. It's going to be kind of weird. Plus, you're going to be trying to learn how to people that jails up. You got to get the trailer washed out after every load. It's going to be a lot of things coming at you. It's going to be a learning curve. So, when you choose the load, unless it's completely terrible, you know what I mean? Just try to go with it, you know. I have a stipulation. I don't go to New York City, okay? I really hate Chicago, but I've been through Chicago so many times, I don't hate it anymore. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like I should get a P.O. box there because I go through a lot. You know, the Midwest area, Chicago is a major crossroad. All right. So hopefully you can talk to your driver manager, have a little discussion like, hey, I need kind of loads like this. And just, just run with whatever they give you to a certain point in the beginning some people are fast learners if you coming over to Hirschbach and you got previous experience with a lease man tell them hey I need to run like this boom 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 but for people that might have been with dry van and now you're dealing with a reefer you know you got to be able to sleep through the night with the reefer running you know pre-tripping the reefer it's gonna take it's a little learning curve you know even moving the tandems and stuff like that so when you choose your loads, just kind of go with what they give you. So, 
again, my only notes for this particular segment is uh, you don't have any history. So build some kind of history. You want to be on time. You want to be early. You want to show these people that when they give you a load, you are someone of value. And they can give you the load and they don't think about it again until the empty call comes in. Because some people out there, they don't know how to trip plan. They're late on their loads. Okay? Also, uh, one of the guys commented, he asked me if there was a uh, built-in navigation on the people net. The answer is no. So you might want to invest in a uh, GPS soon. I know in the beginning, Hirschbach gives you a little money on the card. Um, I think I went to the Loves. They had like a kind of small trucking GPS. It was like $159. You can go that route. And remember, these things can be written off at the end of the year. I mean completely written off. I just did my taxes, okay? It was only for a two-week period. But you can write these things off. Keep your receipt, all right? So that's a strategy. When you first come in, you do that. Now, for the people that have been here, okay, and they're not getting the miles, and they've been late, you got to start over. When I say start over, I mean you got to get a history of on-time loads before you can start kind of demanding what you want with the loads. It's almost like you just got out of orientation. You got to prove that you can make it on time and figure out internally what it is that's going on with you to get there. So this Hirschbach boot camp series is not too much of something major, but I hope that somebody got a few points out what I'm trying to say, okay? And um, it's going to be a learning curve. Use that app. The app is amazing. When you're looking at where you're going, it'll actually show you a satellite view of what's going on. I'll try to, I'll try to add something in this video to kind of show you what it looks like. I don't want to leave you out there just confused because when you get to orientation, they're trying to pour so much in your head and give you so much information. It's like overload it's hard to digest it all so you're gonna be learning on the fly but I like it man the app nothing a hey, is great the app you can almost do everything except for change anything on your logbook so I do everything through the app okay and it's gonna be weird you know the first time they shot me a load I saw what the load was I called my driver manager I'm like uh, yeah I'll take that load it looks good she never said anything. She just put me on it. She didn't tell me, hey, that's not the way you do it. You know, you got to go to the app and accept the load or deny the load. You can do that. There's no force dispatch. But that's for later. I'm just trying to give you the basics. This is the boot camp. So, again, remember, if you have any discrepancies with the truck, make sure you take care of it before it's like me. I got that truck that I turned in still had pet hair all over it. I couldn't get it out. It was horrible. Make sure there's no dents, whatever. And if you do get a new truck, take care of it. They know they gave it to you new. Any scratches, you did it. There's no saying, hey, maybe the last guy did it. You know, I'm a little bit paranoid with that, so that can happen. Um, sorry, I'm not as prepared. I knew this segment wasn't going to be too much, but it's just, a, you know, after you get your truck, you got to accept your load. I would say just trust Hirschback to a certain extent for those first two or three weeks because you're going to be too busy trying to uh, chew bubble gum and walk at the same time. It's going to be phew, crazy, man. It's going to be crazy. You know, they're going to be sending you messages you're not going to even know how to read them, you know. So look for the chaos in them first 10 to 14 days, all right. Also, I want to put a link in this video if I'm good enough to do that. To another driver like me now this guy is kind of like a driver recruiter but not really aggressive his name is caravan D I watched one of his videos and he's the reason why I came here and I met him he's a pretty cool guy I'll try to put a, a link or something up there I'm not good at that yet but I will try I'll figure it out I put a link with his URL to get to his uh, page but anyway I'm a little bit rambling been going over 15 minutes I'm probably gonna have to edit this video to tighten it up but my battery light is blinking at me and I gotta get some sleep so the next video will be something more or less of planning your trip 
getting from point A to point B. And that's what we'll do. And uh, thank you for joining me on the Hirschback Boot Camp. Next video will be coming out soon. I just want y'all to know I appreciate all the love watching the videos. But these videos are really hard to make <laughs> when you're on the fly trying to make money and do something for somebody else. So it's a lot that goes into it. And you want it to sound good and look good and whatever. But that's me. Anyway, guys, as you can see, I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm going to get some sleep. I'll, I'll, I'll put a little bit more work into the next video. But I knew this one wasn't too much. Except the truck. Except the load. And you have to build some kind of history with your driver manager. Okay. They're not just going to put you out there on 1,800 mile runs off the off the top. But they could. This is, this is the springtime. I'm telling you, they're running me like a dog right now. You know, so the miles are here, guys. It's springtime. We're running all over the place. All right, low jockey out of here. I'm going to give me a little rest, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.